What's going on everybody? It's your boy Danny the Bull and I'm back with another video for my Omi homie. So there is a lot to talk about in today's video. I want to talk about my experience at New York Comic Con yesterday. I met Dan and Dave and Reese and some members of the community. I want to tell you about my experience there. I want to talk about the VV marketplace and whether or not the secondary market has bottomed. I also want to talk about some new information that's coming out, some possible breaking news about a partnership that VV has that could take us in an unexpected direction. And I want to talk about some data and information that makes me more bullish on Vivi and the Omi token. So stick around till the end of the video because there's a lot to cover today. If you like this sort of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is linked down below. So if you've been paying attention, you'll have noticed that Vivi drops have stopped selling out. A first appearance of Daredevil dropped during New York Comic Con and it barely sold 2,000 editions. That's 2,000 out of almost 6,000, so it didn't even come close to selling out yet at the time of this recording. The first appearance of Mysterio also has not come close to selling out. Not even a third of them have sold, only 836 out of 3,000. A little over half of Loki's 6,500 scepters sold, and they also dropped some James Bond posters last week and less than half of those sold. So what is going on and is it time to panic? I think that we've all grown used to a world where all of VV drops sell out in less than a second. And that's kind of an unrealistic thing to expect to happen um, over the long run and through every cycle. And I think that we are just now obviously in a different place, right? The world is in a different place. Markets are in a different place place and Vivi is obviously in a different place and I do think that a positive thing is that people are recognizing this they're no longer throwing money at every drop expecting to turn a profit and that leads me to believe that we may be seeing a bottoming out in the Vivi secondary market because people are no longer selling all their old stuff to buy the new stuff all right in fact they're not buying the new stuff and that's okay VV is like any other market. It's going to have its ups and downs. It's going to go through its cycles. But at the end of the day, what matters is that long-term trajectory. And when you're investing, whether it's stocks, whether it's crypto, whether it's NFTs, you need to measure your time in years and not months. So I do think that it's possible that we do dip lower, all right, because people are going to need to pay their credit card bills. People are going to need to go shopping for Christmas, they're going to sell stuff. People might get frustrated and not want to put the time in or, or uh, they might lose faith in the project. So you could always see some more downside. Now, long term, I'm super bullish on Vivi and the OMI token in spite of, you know, the recent downtrend in the VV market. All right. And this weekend at Comic-Con kind of reinforced my conviction. But before I get into that and uh, the potential new partnership that's forming with Vivi, I want to look at some numbers that kind of give us an indication that things aren't as bad as they seem. Just take a look at the daily gem purchases. Of course, this comes courtesy of Puddin' Cheeks. Even with the drops not selling out, they're still doing well over $100,000 a day in new gem purchases. Almost $200,000 on Saturday, a quarter million on Friday. And there hasn't been a day, I don't think, this year when Vivi didn't do over $100,000 in gem purchases. And if you add up all these numbers, which represent daily gem purchases from the year 2022, you get over $200 million. So Vivi has already done over $200 million in revenue in a bear market with three months left. Keep in mind that last year they did $100 million throughout the whole year. So they're, they've already doubled that number this year and we still have three months left. And again, we're in the middle of a bear market. So when we look at the current state of VV and we consider the fact that not everything is selling out at the moment, things are going below retail. We have to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that VV continues to be very successful. They're, they continue to build on their success from last year. And this year, when I went to New York Comic Con, I was reminded by that as I interacted 
with the, with the team and with the community. The team was very approachable. They were there to engage with the community. I talked to Dan for a good 15 minutes and got some insight into what it's been like, you know, building VV and building the community. David was really outgoing and interacted with the crowd there. And I saw the nature boy, Ric Flair. So overall, Comic-Con was an amazing experience. It really demonstrated the strength of the VV community. You had people flying in from different parts of the country just to interact with each other. And the bottom line is at the end of the day, NFT projects like this metaverse projects are based on community and the, str the strongest communities are going to be the ones that win. Take a look at this article from Yahoo Finance. It's lonely in the metaverse. Decentraland's 38 daily active users. Meanwhile, they have a $1.3 billion ecosystem. So according to data from DAP Radar, Decentraland has 38 active users in the past 24 hours, while competitor The Sandbox boasted 522 active users in the same time. Keep in mind that at its peak, Decentraland was at 675 daily active users and the Sandbox was at 4,500. So according to daily wallet activity, Vivi currently has approximately 4,000 daily active users. That's in the middle of a bear market, all right? So think about the numbers. Sandbox had 4,500 active, daily active users at their height. The Central Line had 650 at their peak, all right? Vivi is blowing them away in terms of engagement. And think about when the VVverse rolls out, if the team manages to roll something out that is meaningful, that allows the community to engage in a meaningful way, because that's what metaverses are all about. It's about engagement. It's about connecting people. All right. If they're able to build something that can connect this community, then the VVverse is going to trump those other metaverses because the community is already here. In fact, this weekend, more people actually flew across the country to attend New York Comic Con and meet people in the VV community than went online from their homes in Decentraland. Trending in the law. So even though the market is down, VV is trending in the right direction. And this article about New York Comic Con and creative commercial trends I found posted by Hello K on Twitter. This talks about the top 10 creative trends at New York Comic Con. Coming in at number 10 is the trend of the new digital world. That's where physical meets digital. Saying like it or not, here it comes and who is leading the way? It is Vivi. The article states, Vivi displayed a true understanding of what fans actually want. Sure, they love technology, but they wanna share it. They wanna feel part of something bigger than them. Vivi partnered with the big guys and exhibited with Marvel Studios and Target, the exclusive retail partner for the upcoming content-based merch, and demonstrated how technology can reward true fans and then provide them with a cool, authentic, and shareable ways to prove ownership in digital worlds as well as in real life. So here is something that is catching people off guard, this potential partnership with Target, which this article states is their exclusive retail partner for upcoming content-based merch. So we've heard that Vivi wants to get in retail stores. We heard about physical companions to their uh, digital pieces, All right, but a partnership with Target is pretty much as big as it gets in retail. Target is one of the biggest stores across the country. To get Vivi exposure in Targets across the country would be huge. It would be another step towards mainstream adoption and just mainstream recognition and just becoming a brand that everyone recognizes. And I do think that the foundation is laid for this to happen. This is obviously speculative and we don't know what's going to come of it. But obviously if VV products land in targets, that's, that's huge. Target currently has their stores in almost 2000 locations. So we'll see how that plays out. But obviously that would be a really big development, all right? But when I look at everything, even though prices are down, things aren't selling out, people are showing up at VV events. Designer Con in Anaheim is around the corner. I know for a fact that a lot of people are flying there just to engage with the community. And once the markets recover, 
This community is only going to grow. All right, and then once we get the VV verse uh, in play and in action, people are going to find new ways to connect. The Omi token is going to be considered a metaverse to a token in a metaverse where people actually show up. And if the central land was valued at $10 billion last cycle, what will the Omi token be valued at? I think that it has to at least be in that range or right, considering the fact that they're doing a quarter billion dollars in, in annual revenue, considering the numbers that they're bringing to the metaverse and the strength of this community. All right, all in all, it's really bullish. All right, so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.